slightly different filming location because I'm currently in Glasgow visiting some friends. And while I was in Glasgow, well, I did what I usually do. I went round all my favourite haunts, including BM Home Stores. And while I was there, I found some of their older, you know, their Christmas stock that was on sale. And uh, one of the items was a set of pictures. Now, they had the small pictures like this one. They also had bigger ones. I really wanted one of the bigger ones, but uh, shipping it back would have been a wee bit awkward because of its size. But basically speaking, they have fiber optics laid into a standard canvas style picture. And the other one that I was interested in had sort of lamp posts uh, with the sort of bollard lights on top, and they had uh, LEDs stuck behind it, warm white ones, so they lit in a slightly different shade. And I'll show you what this looks like by taking the exposure off, turning the light off, and then at the side of the picture, there's a wee test button that lights the LEDs, but also you can put batteries in the back and it lights them at a slightly higher intensity. I suppose ultimately the intensity that the button works at is going to depend on how many people try this in the shop. So I'm just about to uh, put the lights on again, so there's going to be quite a bright flash of light while it adjusts. And there it goes, and then I shall lock the exposure so it doesn't waver up and down. Interestingly, uh, it comes without um, AA cells. It takes two AA cells in this little compartment here, but even without them in, hold on, let's get these batteries out. As supplied, it doesn't have any batteries fitted, but that little test function, you can see the fibre optics lighting up there. Um, so when you actually put the batteries in, if you press that button while the uh, LEDs are, the L fiber optics are switched on, it kind of, I'm guessing it shunts the two batteries together, which may not be a good thing. But having said that, it would only be briefly while the button was pressed. The fibers themselves, there's, I think there was about 35, not sure, are just, it's pierced and then they're fed through. But I think they've been th fed through from the side and grouped in the back because it feels like the ends feel kind of, rounded but flattish. Let me get let me get the notepad. From the feel of it, it feels as though they've taken the fibre optic and they've just maybe touched it to a hot surface and it's just sort of flared it round like that or even put it in a uh, in a heated airflow and it's just melted it back. That stops it popping through the material and it also creates a slight lens dome in effect to actually shine the light out. Now if you don't know how a fibre optic works, it's quite clever. If you get a glass of water and you stick uh, anything in, you can stick your finger into that glass of water. When it comes close to the side, you'll see a reflection of your finger there. And the reason you see the reflection is because of the differing refract refractive indexes. The water, the glass and the air all have different ways they'll bend the light. And it creates, when there's two different refractive indexes, it creates a sort of mirror effect. In the case of the fibre optic, it's a very clear core of material, but then it's coated on the outside with a very different uh, uh, different refractive index material, and it in effect creates a mirrored tube down the inside. So although it's a solid core, it looks to light like a mirror, and the, you know a tube of mirror, and it, the light will shine, follow quite long runs, and then shine out the end. So that's fibre or optic covered. I think we should open this up. I can already kind of guess the positioning because when you test it in a dark room, you can see a haze of light here suggesting that all the fibre optics are coming into the middle, which would make sense. And I'm guessing just a single LED. There's one way to find out and that's to open it. So let's uh, see if this will peel off the back or I'm going to have to use a knife. I don't think it's going to peel easily. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, they're hot melt glued. It's an interesting arrangement. So they've actually used heat shrink to group them together. Should we go a bit further? Um, oh, I've just pulled a bunch out. Okay, that, that's that's further. Um, and that it is. It's really just, as far as I can see, that is just the the LED heat shrunk in with a little sleeve, almost like the sort of fairy light arrangement, the Christmas light arrangement. And then the fibres just bunched into the end there, and then it shrunk on them. That would be a sort of critical operation. It's, it's taped here. There's a bit of uh, clear sellotape around it, and they've cropped the end, put them in, and then shrunk it down. But you wouldn't want to apply too much heat. I've tried that in the past and found it was a bit uh, problematic. If you apply too much heat, you can distort the fibres. So the fibres have been fed through from the other side and then blobbed in with hot melt glue. That's a lot of work. Here is the switch arrangement at the side. The 
little push button is down there. And they've literally just slid the push button in and then hot melted it again. It is just a little tactile button. That should be lighting, yeah, that is lighting the LED up the end of that. I don't think there'll be any resistor, I think it'll just be driving it directly. There's the uh, button cell holder, is it just one cell they've got in there? Let's see if we can get the batteries out of that. I could zoom down in this, couldn't I? I could indeed zoom down to give you a better view. Slight waver because the bracket the camera is sitting on is a wee bit wobbly. Uh, how's this uh, held in? It's hot melt glue. There's a surprise. It, everything is just literally hot melt glued onto the canvas. That's quite odd. Uh, can I uh, get the scissors into this? Anything else in here that I should know about? Is there any other extra sleeve? No, it's not. It really is just a piece of fairly stiff plasticky. Oh, there is, there's another section. They've put a couple of bits around that. I wonder if that's just for rigidity. Or have they sleeved the LED and then put another sleeve over the top with the fibre optics? Have I got a knife here that I can just use to slip that? Yes, I have. Let's see if I can slip my fingers in the process. We want to see all the goodies in here. That is just a standard 5mm style LED. Have they put, they have got that sort of standard Christmas light spacer material and then the wire soldered on. In fact, it's got a loop out as if it's designed to maybe run a multiple of LEDs. That, they might have a chain of them that they just cut to length. Um, or if they've got more fibre optic points, because the bigger pictures did have fibre optic points, they may actually have just a, a number of these looped in parallel, just for each cluster of fibre optics. This does open up the possibility with careful work of going into the thing. Am I going to be able to get this out here? And actually put in a different colour of LED if you want it. You could put yellow LED so it was yellow snow. That That is not coming out. Oh, there we go. Is it a single button? Yes, it is. It's just a single cell. I thought it might have been a stack of two for extra brightness, but it's just a standard 2032. 2 meaning 20 millimetres diameter and 3.2 meaning 3.2 millimetres thick. So that really is it. The switch just uh, shunts this little uh, lithium cell here, on, button cell, onto the uh, LED via the button. And the switch does it via, uh, from connects the uh, AA holder onto the same uh, LED. But without the button, so they're just two completely separate sections feeding the one LED. So that's quite neat. It's a nice visual effect. Um, Gives a, uh, it, it shows that there is a lot of work in this though. You know, the factory, they must just, people must be in that factory just terminating these all day long. There's a loose fibre, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be anywhere. Or maybe, a, oh no, it was through that, oh no it wasn't, that isn't a hole. I wonder if they just have a standard number of fibres. I wonder if they do feed them through from the other side. They must, because they're, they're so flush to this, they must pull it into a sort of group and then sort of tape it up and then crop it. But very interesting, it's, it's actually quite a nice visual effect.